The Dallas Cowboys are getting back to drafting offensive players at 179th overall. They just took Stanford's Simi Feoko. I believe I'm saying the last name right. He's a wide receiver, and he's very unpolished. Doesn't run a ton of routes. But you can see why they drafted him and why teams will be excited about this guy. He's 6'3", 222 pounds. I'm just reading this right now off an Excel spreadsheet I have in front of me. Ran a 4-4-2-40 time. That's the same time as Chase Claypool did last year. And for reference, he's about 16 pounds lower than Chase Claypool was at the Combine last year. About an inch shorter. Same speed. 4-2-3 shuttle time. Had a similar broad jump about 6 inches off. The vertical was not as good. 16 bench press reps. So a... Less impressive version of Chase Claypool athletically. If you just look at the combine numbers, it's very similar. So that's why you have to love that you're getting someone like this this late in the draft because you're drafting him based on the height, weight, speed combination. And there's not really another guy in this class that fits that old. Maybe a Terrace Marshall Jr., but he's much lighter than Fayoko. And again, I believe I'm saying that last name right. So you have to think that this guy, because he's unpolished, he's going to take two or three years to develop. But once you hit that point, you're looking at a player who will have that height, weight, speed combination. And if you can just get the route running down, because he has no, he really, that's the hard part. He's just a vertical guy right now. But if you can get the more complex routes down and turn him into like DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf has done a good job developing his route tree so far in the NFL, even though he's still primarily a deep threat. If you can get that level of development out of this guy, he could be a contributor. And when I say contributor, he could be a close to 1,000-yard receiver two or three years, maybe more three or four years down the line. 